if you can dream it, you can become it, is what Walt Disney once said. Good afternoon, Toastmasters and guests. As humans, all of us have needs. As the psychologist Maslow put it, we have a need to feel important. We need to feel important before we can pursue our happiness. The need to feel important for every human being stems majorly from three emotions. Esteem, respect, and confidence. I'll tell you a little more about each of these emotions as we go on in my story. Once upon a time, there was a young child. Let's call him Esteem. His teacher called him up. Hey, Duffer, 12 into 2 is 14. Come here, stand in front of the class. Class, what's 12 into 2? The class replied, 24. The teacher told Duffer, How have you reached 5th standard without knowing what 12 into 2 is? Bloody idiot. Go, go find some other school. We don't have a place for an idiot like you. That day, Esteem died and Duffer was born. Everywhere he went, he was referred to as Duffer. Have you ever had anyone who's made you feel inferior? Have you ever had anyone who's made you feel that you can't achieve anything? Have you ever had anyone who's humiliated you repeatedly in front of your friends? It could have been your co-worker, your parent, or even your spouse. Duffer had a number of people who did this to him every single day. One day, a teacher announced in the class, those of you who haven't cleaned your shoes, please leave the class. Duffer went up to the teacher and asked her, But ma'am, I've cleaned my ears. I can still listen to your class, no? Furiously, the teacher, instead of sending him outside the class, sent him home on grounds of misbehavior. This poor child didn't understand the ways of the world. He couldn't conform to what was socially acceptable. He was kicked around from teacher to parents to friends. Being academically weak, Duffer spent a lot of time on sports. He was exceptionally good at hockey and he was passed up for school captaincy because he was academically weak. Now imagine if you're passed up for a promotion because your boss feels you're not fashionable. Imagine if you don't get best speaker because your mentor didn't come for the class, come for the uh, meeting. That would feel unfair, wouldn't it? That would hurt you, wouldn't it? It hurt Duffer as well. Frustrated and confused because of his curious nature, Duffer had nowhere to go. He would go. His only saving grace was his grandma, who always told him, forget about the rest of the world. Be your own boss. To contain this volcano inside him, Duffer spent a lot of time go-kart racing. Go-kart racing is a sport where you sit in small carts and drive around a circuit a number of times. The sound of the engine, vroom, 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 would contain that volcano inside him. It would give him peace, even if it was just for a few minutes. So Duffer went up to his father and said, Dad, I'd like to take up go-kart racing as a serious sport. His dad looked at him and said, What? Go-karting isn't a sport. Go play tennis like your brother. From that day on, Duffer gave up the only thing that made him happy. Like this, days passed, months passed, and a year passed. One day, suddenly, he found a flyer that read, Go-Kart Racing Championship, find the racer in you. Excitedly, Duffer ran to his parents. Mom, Dad, I 
want to take part. I want to take part. His parents said, oh God, if it's going to keep you quiet, go. Take part. On the first day of qualifications, they all went to the racetrack to support Duffer. Sitting in his track, before, right before qualification, sitting in his car, Duffer thought, I don't know what, what I'm doing here. I'm wasting my time. I'm going to make a fool of myself. I should get up. And then the checkered flag went down. He had no option but to press the accelerator. Qualifications got over, results weren't announced. Because of his self-doubt, because of his negative thoughts, Duffer got up and was about to leave the venue when suddenly his name was announced. He qualified for the quarterfinals. That was when, for the first time in his life, Duffer experienced esteem. To make it more precise, what he experienced was self-esteem. Esteem is nothing but a feeling of being happy with yourself. It can be internal or external. For most people, it's internal. When your boss says you've done a good job, when someone praises you. But for this child, it was an internal journey to start off with. The next day, Duffer just squeezed through semi-finals to reach the final race. He was the last child on the track the last one to start among a group of eight. Sitting in his go-kart again, he thought, I'm not a duffer. I've made it to the, set, to the final round of this race. I am going to win this race. I am going to prove everyone wrong. I am my own boss. The checkered flag went down, and as duffer sped through each and every opponent, he left behind each and every inhibition. He overtook everyone with a vengeance as if to show the world, I am not a duffer. I am a steam. Five, four, three, two. Oh my God, shit, there's a crash in front of me. I'm going to crash. Boom. Toastmasters, duffer didn't finish first. But he did finish second. He got off the racing, the racing cart and found his grandma was crying. His parents ran up to him and hugged him. They told him, we're proud of you. And that was the first time he experienced respect and confidence. Again, it was an internal journey. Self-respect self-confidence. Toastmasters, think of these three emotions as meters in your own mind. One point every time you experience self-esteem. One point every time you experience self-respect. One time you every time experience self-confidence. Confidence is the belief that you are capable of doing anything. Respect is the pride in doing everything right. That day onwards, those 10 tracks, those 10 laps around that track had changed Duffer's life forever. He was a reassured, confident human being. Have you ever felt an achievement when you least expected it? Have you ever felt that you can do something when you least expect it. Filling up these three emotions on an everyday basis gives you that feeling of self-satisfaction, which is essential to reach self-actualization. This wasn't the end of the story. Duffer was a local hero. His school admired him. His teachers loved him. He had a number of articles in local and national newspapers. Who do you think Duffer is? Duffer is Samin Shasha. I am an ordinary human being standing here in front of you with ordinary experiences. Leave your inhibitions behind. Dream big. Spend this day to 
fulfill your meters. Because if you believe you can, if you are your own boss, then you can reach that moment of self-actualization. Back to you.